Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're gonna to do a really, really great experiment, very simple to do. A copper pipe, this copper pipe can be found at any hardware store. Any diameter pipe doesn't matter, just go get a copper pipe. You need a candle and you need some uh, dollar bill or a $5 bill, or if you're really brave, you could use a $20 bill or even a $100 bill. Once you see how this works, you'll see how impressive the experiment is. So what we need to do is first light our candle and we're gonna just put it on a nice plate just to keep it out of the way and sort of protected from our tabletop here. And we're just gonna light this. By the way, this is not a trick candle. Uh, none of these experiments that we ever do are based on tricks. There's nothing, there's no trick going on here. So what you have here is a candle flame. It's perfectly well lit. What you need to do now is take your money and what we're gonna do is put this candle flame right on the bottom right here. Now, if we were to just do this right now, of course, this money is made of paper. This money is going to burst into flames, but we're not just going to place it right on top like that. We're going to actually take this copper pipe and we're gonna wrap this piece of money directly around like this. So we're just wrapping it around, nothing special, right? And then what we're going to do is hold this candle flame directly on top of this money one, two, three, four, five. And let's take a look. We look at it, it looks pretty burnt, but watch this. It definitely did not burn because when you look through to the other side, you see no discoloration. It has a definitely a scorch mark here, but when you take a look and just use your finger, you can actually wipe most of that away. Most of this black stuff here is actually soot from the candle. So if you had to take this to a bank or to a grocery store, this is still passable. This is still perfectly valid currency. The secret, as you probably guessed, is this copper tube. This copper tube is what's doing, doing the actual work here. What's happening is, when you hold this guy up to the flame, then the heat from the candle flame is going into the paper, obviously. Now, the way things burn is, you have to increase the temperature to what they call the kindling temperature, and then after that point, you'll, it'll burst into flames and it'll start combining with the oxygen, and that's what, what we say when, what happens when things burn, right? It combines with oxygen and makes a flame. In this case, since we wrap it in the copper like this, when we hold it over the flame like this, What's going on is the heat is going into the paper, but it's immediately transferred to this copper pipe, which is in direct contact with the money, right? Now let me show you what happens when we use a regular sheet of paper, just so you know. We're gonna hold the sheet of paper, wrap it around, balance it, the same as we've done before, and then we'll put it right directly in the candle flame. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take a look at what we have and we have a black mark. But again, it looks you know, like it definitely burned, but if you turn it over, you can see that it did not burn all the way through anyway because the other side's not discolored at all. And again, if you use your finger, you can actually wipe most of that away. Most of that soot is actually from the candle flame, uh, the, 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 the gas hitting it and depositing all that stuff on there. Now, just to show you what's gonna happen if you don't use the copper tube, we'll arrange this guy and we'll hold it for five seconds into the flame. One two, three, four, five, and it's on fire. So you can see that when we actually take away the copper pipe, the paper catches on fire within two or three seconds, and it's, it's rolling on fire within five seconds. So the copper makes all the difference in the world. That heat coming in from the candle flame goes into the paper, immediately gets taken away by the copper pipe, so the temperature of the paper cannot rise hot enough to actually uh, catch on fire. So you can scorch it, you can burn it, but at least for the five second test, you're not gonna catch it on fire. Now, if you hold that flame there long enough or if you have a hotter flame, then you'll be able to overcome this effect here. But certainly for a simple experiment with a candle, a piece of paper or a dollar bill or a $5 bill, you can do a very impressive experiment that really shows you what heat conduction is all about. That energy goes into the copper, it gets transmitted away from the paper, so the paper actually doesn't catch on fire. 